All right, Jeff. Everybody, this is Jeff Langley. He's been a Livo 2 customer since I met him on Little Rabbit Key in the Everglades about five years ago. And uh, Jeff has a whole series of stories up to and including his recent bout with COVID. So, Jeff, take it away. All right. So, it's a little background. Yeah, you know me. I'm a fanatic, right? I use Livo 2 at least five, six times a week, right? Been doing it for five years, uh, immediately after I met Mark. So it's been the best five years of health I've ever had, right, in my entire life. Very few, get, got sick very rarely, um, always healthy, in good shape. It's, you know, so I think you probably get a little overconfident, right, of what you're immune to. Um, uh, pre libo too, I would probably get sick pretty good, you know, flu or cold probably three, four times a year. And with Livo, too, maybe in five years, I've probably been sick maybe four times that I remember and um, was never as bad, you know, keep doing Livo, too, and, you know, and then cycle through it. And it just, you know, gets rid of the symptoms. So anyway, a little overconfident when I live in the Keys and we had sunshine. So we're maybe a little more lax than we should be on the COVID precautions. Um, but most of our restaurants, have almost, they're almost all outside, you know, so anyway. Two and a half weeks ago, I was working in the yard here and had no energy. I knew something was wrong. Then that's odd. And then the next day, I had every symptom, all the COVID symptoms. Um, shortness of breath, cough, fever, and I knew I had it immediately. Now, the funny thing is, I think is, I think down here I've been exposed. We had, you know, thousands of tourists a day. Um, I think I've been exposed many times in the last year, Right. I think the reason I got it now, just pure speculation, I'm sure Mark the Scientist will have more insight on this, but uh, uh, right before this, I had an earache, right? Probably from swimming, I don't know what, and I was feeling pretty poorly already. That kind of went away, and then I got the COVID. So I think my immune system was already compromised. I think that's why I got it now and have never got it before. So, um, yeah, two and a half weeks ago, took a test that day, came back the next day, said, yep, you've got it, so... Symptoms were never that bad, I, and I did Livo too. I started doing it twice a day, um, you know, like you recommend on illnesses. Did the flu protocol where you hold your breath, right, Mark, for the last, for 10 seconds, which is kind of hard to do, actually, because, you know, your lungs are already, it was kind of hard to hold my breath. I couldn't really do it the whole time. But um, so after the Livo 2 sessions, great, all the symptoms went away. I was felt great for about an hour, hour and a half, and then, Seemed like as it got later at night, it, they would start to come back. But um, I would say it was never worse pain, you know, a three out of 10, where 10 is, you know, please kill me. Uh, it was never really that bad. It was only three or four days of really symptoms. Symptoms kind of seemed to cycle through, you know, cough, fever. And then I, within a week, symptoms went away, and, you know, um, and that was that. So I've been probably clear for at least a week now. Yeah, well, that's, you know, like on the flu protocol. So on the flu protocol was how accurate was my description of the physiology and the process? And, you know, was that consistent with your experience? Yeah, very accurate. And um, at first, I think like other people said this too, they were hesitant to do the AC, right? Because that really pushes your system. You're like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that now that I have the flu. But you said, you know, don't go ahead. And you're right. Uh, I did the AC. And afterwards, you know, you can tell when you're down doing it. You know, and when you're done with Livo 2 AC, if you've got something going on in your body, your nose runs more, you're sweating more, you know, um, you know, coughing stuff up. So I definitely did that after. And this is kind of gross, but my urine turned, you know, like almost like a bronze <laughs> color. Yeah, which is, it's your body getting rid of stuff, right? Do you remember your oh, PO2 oximeter. oximeter? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I did that. That was... um. It's a little low. I mean, I usually, before I do a Livo 2 session, it'll be around 95, 96. This during the COVID, it was probably down to 94 maybe, but I don't think it was really bad. Yeah. So like somebody that goes through a flu or something like that, I live at about 7,500 feet. When I end up with a cold or a flu, then my PO2 will drop about three, four points, which is, you know, that's before I get on Livo 2, but after I do the Livo 2, boom, it bounces right up. But the the point would be is like why you've got that asphyxiation and the gas transfer barrier in the lungs, you know, it's your lungs don't work as well and the loss of oxygen transport 
air, you know, the blood travels through the lungs and it's got two jobs. It needs to dump carbon dioxide and it needs to absorb oxygen. And with that mucus barrier in between there, it's hard to dump the carbon dioxide. And if it doesn't dump the carbon dioxide, it can't absorb the oxygen. So what happens is that the blood ends up circulating or making another lap around the body, you know, carrying carbon dioxide which is called asphyxiation. So when you use the AC, what happens is with the hard breathing, you basically power through that mucus layer and then you're able, the blood's able to dump the carbon dioxide and absorb oxygen. So when you get off LIVO2, when you're sick, what happens is you just blow through or power through that barrier so your oxygen levels go back to normal. Then like when you said you're you know, you, you feel normal for a couple hours. Well, at two hours is the period while your oxygen is normal, but then it drifts back down and you go back into that asphyxiation pattern, which is what gives you that general feeling of being right. sick because your ability to produce energy decreases on the backside. Now, by the way, let me turn that into a question. Does the explanation I just offered make sense to you? And did it feel consistent? With yeah, what I, I can follow most of the stuff, your scientific explanation of things. They make sense. And I'll usually Google them and say, oh, yeah, verify, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, by the way, for the audience, you know, Jeff's got a long history as being a, I'll call it a high-end technical guy. You you work for LexisNexis still? Yeah. So he's pretty good at vetting facts. No. So I just want to say one thing. So my uh, little story about my daughters, you know, I bug them all the time about LIVO2, right? And they make fun of me. Oh, it's the cure-all, it fixes everything. So when I got COVID, guess what they said to me? Oh, your LIVO2 didn't prevent COVID. And I said, well, first of all, when Mark invented it, COVID wasn't there. So it wasn't, you know, created for that. And also, you know, I've done a couple of testimonies with you before about this, about my health five years ago, w literally when I met you, right? Was overweight, um, getting all the old man things, you know, a large prostate. Uh, I had a herniated disc in my neck that I just had surgery for the year before, and I was getting another one, which is all inflammation, right? It's all the goo in your neck. Um, uh, high blood pressure, get high cholesterol, and I'm, I've tried to work out, but I just could not stay, you know, healthy, right? And I tried everything. I'm a guy who'll look around. So anyway, I met you, you know, crazy story, but we've chronicled it in other places. Um, and then I looked up Livo2 after I met you, said, that's interesting technology. And then I'm like, I had nothing to lose. So, um, you know, none of the medical stuff's working. Pills didn't work. Chiro I've seen a chiropractor and getting a massage, deep tissue massage every week, which obviously wasn't helping. So anyway, so five years ago, my health was on a pretty poor trajectory, right? And quickly. So uh, or five years ago. So five years, ago, I started doing Livo2. And like I said before, I've been in the best health, shape, energy, that I've ever had in my life. So anyway, I was just telling my daughter, okay, yeah, LIVO2 didn't prevent this, but if if I never started using it and my life was going, health was going the way it was for the last five years, I, go, I think my COVID experience and getting over it would have been a lot different. So no, LIVO2 doesn't prevent it, but I think it helped me get through it with pretty much, I mean, it was pretty, pretty simple. You know, it was very little pain. So yeah, that's my story about my daughter. But actually, you bring up another good good point, which is people ought to always ask us. They say, you know, uh, what's the oxygen going to do or, you know, LIVO2 going to do for my age? Okay, so let me ask this as a quantitative question, which is when you first met LIVO2, you know, five years ago, and you think about the list of health issues you had, how many years in terms of reversing health issues did LIVO2 take your list of health problems back? So how many years ago was it when you have the same list of health issues that you have now? Um, at least 15 years. But also, I've never been in my, even as a, even as a kid, I always had a, a tendonitis or some aching injury or sore muscle. So, yeah, it was at least 15 years. It reversed, you know, the age you know symptoms and all that pain but um i just think right now you know it's just comfortable you know i was always stretching my neck was always tight everything was always tight you know, that's why i was seeing a um, chiropractor and a massage therapist and obviously they're just treating symptoms but when i started living doing libo too and a bunch of things I, I didn't even expect happened you know so it wasn't really a placebo effect where i was expecting this like um uh enlarged prostate symptoms went away literally within a month um harper i i would have a you know 
a, drink, a couple beers and have heartburn for two days. That was gone. It all surprised me. Um, sleeping through the night. So, you know, there's just a, hundreds of benefits that I've gotten from this, you know, that I was obviously not a placebo because I did not expect it. You know, I expected hopefully to have more energy and be healthy was my goal five years ago, but changed everything. Awesome. Thank you, Jeff. Okay. Anything else? No, that's about it. Thank you. Everybody stay healthy. Cool.